Sie hören eine Produktion des Podcast Imperiums. Ich bin Luke Skywalker und ihr hört Nerdizismus, der nerdige Podcast. Viel Spaß! Herzlich willkommen zu einer neuen Ausgabe von Nerdizismus, dem Podcast für Nerds und Cosplayer. Mein Name ist Chris und mit mir dabei Nerdizist Michael. Hallo. Hallihallo. Eine weitere Ausgabe unserer Interviewfolgen steht an. Ein Interview, das du geführt hast mit unserem Forever Nerd Girl Anja. Und ihr hattet diesmal zwei Gäste zu Gast aus einer Komödie. Ich glaube, aus der Komödie der, war es noch 90er oder war es schon frühe 2000er? Ich glaube, das war sogar 99, denn wir hatten Thomas Ian Nicholas und Shannon Elizabeth da. Falls einem das nicht sagt, das sind die äh, sind der Kevin und die Nadja aus American Pie. Nadja war, glaube ich, dieses absolute Hot Love Interest von allen Jungs in der in dem Film, oder? I ja, ja, die irgendwie Russ so. Die russische Austauschschülerin, ne? Die russische Austauschstudentin. Und er hat den Kevin gespielt, wem das jetzt auch nichts sagt. Das ist der Typ, der mit anderen Blonden zusammen ist, die, die jetzt nur noch B-Movies macht. Ich komme jetzt nicht auf ihren Namen. Aber ähm, ja, genau. Die beiden waren bei uns in der Box drin und haben dann irgendwann im Laufe des Interviews das Interview quasi mit sich selbst geführt. Ich meine, Anja und ich standen nur noch daneben und die haben schön gequatscht über Peanut Butter Whisky, über American Pie Sequels und alles Mögliche. Den Peanut Butter Whisky hast du sogar noch probiert? Ja, in der Tat. Der hat ihn hier nach Europa reingeschmuggelt, weil es den in Europa noch nicht offiziell gibt. Der Typ hat nämlich einerseits eine Band und andererseits promotet er gerne... Sachen von Freunden und das ist zum Beispiel der Peanut Butter Whisky. Mit dem Thomas habe ich dann an seinem Stand dann später einen getrunken, weil er mich noch eingeladen hatte, da einen zu trinken. Und der war echt lecker. Hat ein bisschen karamellig geschmeckt, aber mit einer Note Erdnussbutter doch im Hintergrund. Na, da bin ich mal gespannt, wie dieses Interview verlaufen ist. Viel Spaß. So we are back in the live stream and this time with Shannon Elizabeth and Thomas Nicholas, without the Ian, <laughs> both from American Pie and a few other things you might know. So welcome to the German Comic Con. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thanks for coming. And yeah, we start with our yeah basic question because we're here on the Comic Con and it's all about nerd stuff. So on a scale from one to ten, how much of a nerd are you? 10 is the highest, 1 is the lowest. So um, what do you think? I'm 12. <laughs> I'm 12. <laughs> I, I would say I'm like 8.5. Okay. Yeah. So just to be sure, we're talking about the same uh, nerd, <laughs> it's nerd stuff, sci-fi and uh, everything? Oh, sci-fi, uh, comics, uh, or... It can be also music or stuff you're really yeah. into. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I so why did you say 12? Because I think I'm a total dork. <laughs> <laughs> that counts, that counts. So is there a specific area you are really good in, besides acting? Um, conservation work. Conservation I, work. Yeah, okay. I have a charity, so um, oh, it's cool. all about wildlife and conservation and animals and saving animals. So I'd say my, my biggest focuses in life probably are that and my health. Like being, being healthy and vegan and cooking and taking vitamins and all that stuff. Those are the things that I nerd out on. <laughs> and what's with you? What's your guilty pleasure being um, a nerd? In? As a nerd, uh, I'm, I'm a Star Wars fan through oh, and through. I was, cool. I was a Star Wars fan before it was okay to be a Star Wars fan. <laughs> so we're talking like pre, you know, prequels. Yeah. Uh, you know, well before that. Uh, pre yes. pre prequels, yes. That sounds awesome. Yeah, we know what he's talking about. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then uh, as far as my other sort of talents, Uh, music and drinking really is. Uh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> you, you said before we should join you on your uh, booth because you have booth on your booth. Yes, <laughs> yes, I have booze at my booth. Um, I have my friend's company, it's called Screwball. It's a peanut butter whiskey. Oh, I okay. really and have to try that because I love peanut butter. And you will it's love Screwball. It's not here yet, so I snuck a bottle uh, in through customs. 
Uh, they didn't, Whoa, they, but now they're going to know. They're going to see this. Well, I'm already here. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. They obviously didn't care. Right. So Wait, why is it your friend's company and not yours if you're pushing it? You've got to have a piece of it. Uh, I don't have a piece of it. I just support what my friends do, especially when they're doing something that I think is really good. Yeah. Um, I was at their launch event um, in 2018. And I, I was a guest bartender and I tried this stuff and it was incredible. Oh, wow. And so I just said, hey, if you ever need any help like getting it out there, uh, uh, I've worked with a lot of like alcohol companies with my band. Yeah. Like I said, music and drinking go hand in hand. Um, and so... So Germany is now your territory for him. Right, exactly. <laughs> well, also LA, like they were having trouble getting into spots in LA. So right. I started, uh, I became an ambassador for them and nice. opened some accounts. I have a lot of friends that own bars and things. Right. So, I would go and do tastings and say, oh. here, try this. And they'd be like, oh my God, it's amazing. We have to have it. So right. they got something from you and you got something from them. Yeah. Well, yeah. they basically What do you get, get from them? Free screwball. <laughs> <laughs> so you said before, uh, in a talk before, that you are like Comic Con pros because you have been on a lot of cons. How many? I don't know. I haven't counted. Yeah. I mean, I don't think it's been that many because I, I don't live in the U.S. So I do a few, I go back a few times a year and yeah. I'll do two or three each time I'm back. Mm -hmm. And then um, this is probably only my second international. I don't think, oh. I think I've only done two international. All right. And I have a third one coming up in March. Is so. it a coincidence that you two are together here or was it I, like that? I think it was, I think we were put together. Yeah. yeah. Well, we have the same <laughs> agent for Comic-Con. Oh, okay. yeah. And yeah. we will also be together in March. We're a team. About, okay. We're talking yeah. about Liverpool, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Liverpool. And we just did one yeah. together in Saudi Arabia, so. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Where he goes, <laughs> I go, so. Oh, yeah. So it's in Thomas your contract, we there. have to go together to yeah. Comic-Con. Well, you know, in American Pie 5, uh, no, <laughs> <laughs> the, the selling point for me is Thomas will be there. Oh, okay, good. Then I'll come. So. Well, I mean, yeah, it's nice, right? Like, yeah. Like I said uh, to uh, recently, and so you, you know, I don't know if you knew this, but Shannon has always been one of the coolest people uh, of the cast. She's always just been herself and never let yeah. like all the success of the films change who she was, and that's been that way since '99. So. And the same with Thomas. Yeah. So, you know, so we're the ones that travel around as the ambassadors. <laughs> I mean, I, I was like, I don't know, I was like 17 or 18 in 99 and it was in the movie and the whole theater was just laughing and it's still one of my favorite movies well, from back then. So. I was nine years old then oh, wow. and we watched the movie and it was like a little bit forbidden, you know, yeah. because it was a little bit sexual and yeah, and for us kids we were like, Oh, let us watch it. Okay, but we cannot turn you on again. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> and it's cool yeah, that it's one of those funny. films that translates. Like it translates yeah. to other countries and languages and cultures. Yeah. So it's cool to have something like yeah. that. The best I part, I, like I don't know if you knew this, in Germany, uh, and I learned this when we were here doing the press tour in 2012. Once you have a uh, an actor that does your voice. They, yeah. they remain your same actor in most, Germany. Most most I didn't know that. Yeah, like, well, yeah. I mean, I know like there's obviously exceptions to the rule, yeah. but yeah. for the most part, yeah. the same actor will voice the same. Wow. You know, so you have no matter same, what film you no do. No matter what yeah. film it is. That's so cool. So I, we got to meet our counterparts when we were amazing. here uh, seven years ago. That's so amazing. That's, what did you think of him? I mean, because you don't really hear your own voice except when you're watching a video. Right. Yeah. So it's strange to have another voice even uh, in this, right? Well, it's funny. I was flipping the channel this morning and Ashton Kutcher was on and somebody was doing his voice. And I filmed a little piece of it to send to him because it was done really well. Like, I'm like, yeah. I buy that. It didn't yeah. look strange at all. It sounded great. Yeah, I think they do it very, very they well. They do it very yeah. well. But I. Uh, prefer to watch it in English. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's always a discussion on our podcast. Like, yeah. did you watch it in English or in German? Like, yeah. I mean, I Germans know. are a little bit yeah, <laughs> lazy when it comes to watching an original because yeah. we have so good dubbing. Yeah. And especially somewhere around the 90s, it was still pretty free dubbing. So it didn't have to exactly translate like you should uh, right. would translate yeah. today so right. most of the people will remember you with other voices yeah, yeah. I, I don't think I've seen like what I sound like in German I don't think I've seen a clip of it and the only thing we, we saw is we, we dropped into a couple of screenings of American Reunion Oh, so did we you? saw it like in the theater, so, but I haven't seen like a DVD. But see, I think the last time I was in Germany was the American Pie 2 press tour when we were here for 9-11 oh wow, wow wow yeah 
So that were you on that? that? No, I wasn't on that one. I think they only sent me to, they sent Eddie and I to Spain. Okay, because I don't too. remember who all was there, but we were here when 9-11 happened. Yeah. And I don't remember where in Germany we were, yeah. but we, we had gone into a couple of things and then they ended up canceling the tour. But I yeah. think that's the last time I was I, in Germany. I remember the, the crazy story about that is I remember what they had to do with your scenes in American Pie too. Oh, what did they do? No, so you're, when you were calling on the phone to yeah. call to, to Jason's character, you were in New York, your character was, and the Twin Towers were behind you, and they digitally removed them. All right. I didn't know that. I didn't never know heard that. that, no. How did I know this about your own scenes? <laughs> Nobody tells me anything. <laughs> well, that was just, I don't know. JV told me. I actually don't even remember what the movie was about. I think I saw it once. <laughs> I have a question from the chat, because we are on the live stream. Okay. And someone asked if there will be another American Pie movie. Uh, like I said, <laughs> Thomas is filming it. He's the director. In American Pie 5, uh, yep. Nadia and Kevin. No, I'm just kidding. Yes. <laughs> I would watch that. <laughs> I mean, it could be like a Star Wars thing, nine movies. You never know what'll happen. You never know. You never I, it's, it's possible. I know that uh, John and Hayden, who uh, wrote and directed American Reunion, they came up with a concept for American Pie 5. They pitched Universal. As far as I know, they're aware of it, but nothing's been, you know, yeah. pen, no pen to paper okay. or, you know, keyboard to screen. <laughs> so we come to the interesting part because you asked before what we have there. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, yes. our uh, very nice killer pitch from the sort of where we are coming from. It's like a herb liquor? It's a herb, yeah, herb liquor. Uh, I really hate it, but maybe you like it. <laughs> 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 no, a, a lot of people love it. Is it like a. Uh, like is it similar medicinal? to like a, like a Jägermeister? Yeah, it's a yeah. little like uh, the Jägermeister. Okay, yeah. which is not, I mean, I someone was telling me where that's from. They said the city last night, but I can't remember. Don't really know. I think um, it's somewhere in the south, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. I yeah. don't know, but yeah. That's I think it was somewhere near Marburg. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah we, we were talking about Marburg last night, yeah. but yeah. So, you either can choose or you can take just everything. I have the vegan option. I bought it because I think yeah. <laughs> it's a better way. <laughs> so if, you like, if you'd like to try one of the Katya's. I'm fine, thank okay. you. <laughs> That's fine, but I'm prepared for everything. Awesome, no, I, I don't well done, that. thank you. I'm vegetarian myself, so. Well done. So one more thing, because every guest that's here if he wants to, if you want to, we have like it's a Christmas time and we have like Christmas carols and we have German Christmas carols and I think. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you know our Christmas tree? Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree. Do you know that? Do you know yeah. that? I mean, I know the tune, I don't know yeah. the words. Okay, I have here the German words. Uh huh. Of, and if you would like, I don't know if you like, but if you could do it. <laughs> Here is something to sing in. Nick Carter. You're in a band. Sang, Nick Carter and it, Henry Thomas. Yeah. <laughs> he sing? Yeah. All right. So maybe you should do the, the last yeah, You can choose whatever you want if you can. If you need help with, uh, with the, like, uh, the pronunciation. Sure. If you, if you yeah. need help. If I need help. If you need help. I will definitely need some help. Um, I got the first line down. Yeah. <laughs> so you want us to sing this third verse, yeah? I can help you the third verse. Or yeah. the second. Down there. Are we doing the second? You can do the second word. The second okay. one, okay. Oh, Tannenbaum, oh, Tannenbaum, du kannst mir sehr gefallen. We are. Well, yeah, that's the <laughs> And cut. And scene. scene. Here's your phone. <laughs> <laughs> we so made it halfway through, so you can have the next person pick it up know. at the hardest <laughs> part. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so thank you very much for being here. Thank you. I hope you're enjoying your stay. Very much. Will you stay a little bit longer in Germany or just for the con? Just for the con. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. unfortunately just for the con. I was yeah. thinking about trying to plan another tour because I haven't toured uh, with my band in Germany for about seven years. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, it's too much, too much travel this year, so I decided just to come and go home on Monday, so. I hope we have uh, some time later to join your booth to try this peanut butter. I'll be there. <laughs> you know where to find me. Just look for my picture. Yeah. Right on that wall. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much cool. for being here. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Eine Produktion des Podcast Imperiums. 